Next, I will remove the front sewing here. Simply press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard. And then we are going to sew the button onto it. I'm going to use this buttonhole tool. Click on it to select. And we want to double click right here to place the buttonhole. And then come over here to this object browser. Click on that buttonhole right there. And I'm going to scroll down here. We want to change the width to 3.5 and then press return enter on the keyboard. And then I'm going to scroll down here and change the color as well. Click on this color swatch and use this eyedropper tool. Click on it to select. Then pick the color from the jacket. And then I'm going to press on the escape key right here. And then click on apply and close. Next, we want to apply the button onto the jacket. Simply go to this edit buttonhole tool here. Click on it to select. Then click one right there on that buttonhole. Right click. And I'm going to select duplicate as button to symmetric pattern. Next, we want to change the button. Simply go to this object browser, click on that button. Then I'm going to change the button type to this one here. Then we want to change the width to 3 cm. Press on return, enter on the keyboard. And then I'm going to also change the color here. Simply click on that color swatch and use this eyedropper tool. Click one on that jacket and I'm going to press on escape on the keyboard and then click on apply and close. So next I'm going to strengthen the jacket and simply use the transform pattern tool. My key selects the jacket here, right click and then strengthen. Then I'm going to simulate one more time here. All right, so next let's fasten the button. To fasten the button, I'm going to simply click one right here, bring it in and click one right here, bring it out a little and then we want to bring it over. As close as possible, but not too close. So that's close enough. Then I'm going to use the fasten button tool here. Click on it to select. Click one on the button. Then click one on the buttonhole. Now I'm going to simulate here. And that is. Let's stop the simulation and change the tool to select slash move tool. 